first I have to really thank the founders of the university, uh, which included me, Ranak Babian, and uh, Armen Dergrelian, and uh, uh, Stepan Karamardian, along with AGBU and the University of California. Um, and I think uh, especially Luis Simon at the time. Uh, this was back in 1991, and would you believe that we did make some donation as the founders of the university at that time. As I uh, felt that the university is extremely important to develop a, a uh, Western-style College of uh, Science and Engineering, and as I felt that the existing and current universities in Armenia uh, have been weakening for a while. And uh, so I thought that it is time for me to invest my resources as much as possible uh, to help out that uh, particular college. Saba is an entrepreneur and an engineer. And together with his wife, Sonia, they felt very connected to support the university's College of Science and Engineering by making a significant donation to name the college Savan and Sonia Akian College of Science and Engineering. Now that the college is ready to expand its role within the new building for research and education and collaboration, the Akian family are right there supporting important infrastructure. Engineering Sciences is a relatively new program in our college. Uh, we had our first graduates last year and this year we have our second batch, nine students uh, graduating this May. Overall, we have about uh, 100 students in our uh, program. Uh, the program is uh, built in a way so that students get uh, enough skills and knowledge from mechanical and electrical engineering so that after graduation they can be a valuable employee asset for the industry in Armenia and worldwide and also if the students decide to continue their studies in masters and PhD they have enough uh, skill set and knowledge to do so. I am currently learning at the Aachen College of Science and Engineering uh, more specifically the Engineering Sciences Department I have gotten accepted into the MIT Nuclear Science and Engineering Master's program. I continue to perhaps uh, continue with a PhD program or gain more work experience. And after that, I plan to come back to Armenia. And when I come back to Armenia, I hope to be able to uh, develop the nuclear sector and perhaps even come back to AOA and teach people uh, nuclear engineering and nuclear science as it's one of the most uh, important sectors that one can get into within the 21st century. The interesting thing about our graduates, 72% of our graduates come back to Armenia. Even if they leave Armenia, 72% of them come back. So it is uh, because we built a culture of security for the students who graduate from there, security in the sense that they can apply themselves and build their nation. They don't have to be employed by non-Armenian organizations. Uh, so uh, they come back and, and a lot of our teachers, professors, are now um, um, Armenian professors who have left Armenia with bachelor's degrees and came to the U.S., got their master's, got their PhDs, and go back and teach at AUA. People ask us all the time, uh, kind of, what do you do or what's AUA like? And yeah, sure, we uh, are educators. We have uh, teaching classes, running research labs, but really we're in the inspiration business. Uh, I think providing knowledge to students has maybe become uh, while not the easiest part of the job, uh, maybe the uh, simply the satisfactory part that we're doing okay. But really what I think it's all about is providing guidance, support, leadership, and maybe a sense of self-actualization for our students. I think that's our 
biggest challenge and maybe the thing I'm most proud of uh, working here uh, in the college at AUA. When I was studying my uh, bachelor's degree at AUA in computer science, I also took the courses of computer design and manufacturing, uh, mathematical analysis and optimization, which uh, led me to the uh, master's degree program of industrial engineering and systems management. I was also working uh, part-time or while studying uh, at our family business, which is a factory a production line with, where I was doing uh, robotics and automation of the uh, industry cycle. Uh, so these courses helped me a lot during the studies. Also, I want to mention our wonderful uh, prototyping lab where we have 3D scanners, uh, 3D printer. Uh, also, we have the uh, 3D milling machine, which gave us uh, a huge experience, like hands-on experience on the subjects of engineering uh, and research. Also, we have like the whole reverse engineering cycle implemented at the lab. Uh, growing up and trying to understand how we can help our community, uh, it always comes back to the educational part. So you need to uh, change the education, you need to raise your uh, new generation to a new, new standard. And I truly believe that uh, Zava Nakian was the one to change uh, the College of Science and Engineering at AUA. Uh, this is a huge impact. Like I am one of the like pieces in the puzzle, uh, but if you look at the big picture, uh, those people are the ones uh, who created like the foundation for us to build on that. So uh, I truly believe that uh, if you want a, a big change, uh, you should invest in the future generation. And that's what uh, I, I truly believe that uh, Mr. Akian did for us and for our college. The essence of the College of Science of Engineering is to build the nation, to have a, a scientific industry as well as everything else. And it is important to um, care for these students and have the proper education and the quality of education uh, so that they can um, have the right tools to build uh, our nation. I am a recipient of the Arkham Family Foundation Scholarship, uh, which gave me an opportunity to pursue a high quality education. Without the scholarship, I simply wouldn't be here and uh, my family wouldn't have the opportunity to afford uh, the education at AUA. As I'm getting ready to graduate, uh, I want to pursue a master's degree in writing or journalism. I have already applied to a few programs abroad and I'm waiting to hear from them and we'll see where it takes me. So along with that, um, you have to be really surprised to learn that the students who get admitted at AUA are highly educated and intelligent. Uh, if you understand the SAT score, for instance, that is used in the United States, and the maximum score being 800, the average uh, student admitted at this, uh, the College of Science and Engineering is 755 out of 800. That is almost the same level of any UC student in, in the United States. UC students hardly get in uh, for uh, get admitted unless they have about 750 and over. And it is incredible. Um, I mean, there are many American Armenian students who like to uh, apply and try to get in, and yet they don't have the score. We encourage tremendously American students who really want to have a good education, bachelor's or even master's, to think about AUA. They will love it, they will really enjoy it, and they will have a great education, accredited, and a lot of uh, future. Hello, my name is Shantara Dajian. I'm a Lebanese Armenian who moved to AUA four years ago to study at the uh, Akian College of Science and Engineering at AUA. Um, I'm about to graduate now and ever since I was a child I've been brought up in the Armenian culture and heard amazing things about Armenia from my grandparents and that's why I, I chose AUA uh, to see Armenia and to get into engineering. Um, so I've always wanted to be in the renewable energy sector so engineering sciences was going to provide me the interdisciplinary field in mechanical and electrical engineering to be able to 
go into depth in um, what I wanted to do. Um, I plan to graduate AUA and I got accepted at UC Santa Barbara in the PhD program of mechanical engineering. Um, I want to go deeper in renewable energy sector, especially in uh, solids like solar cells and wind turbines and I hope my uh, degree will be used in that sector and I hope one day I can come back to Armenia and work on um, making wind turbines in the mountainous regions a reality. Savan and Sonia Akian truly understands the importance of world-class value-based working environment and academic standard. Only then can our students prosper and provide transformative impact in local communities and in globalized world. This is the vision of AUA and this is also the vision of the Akian family. We have many examples of how their generous and insightful donations have enriched the opportunities for AUA students, faculty, staff and collaborators. So our commitment to the mission of AUA is often manifested through the activities we do, not only in the building, but outside. And so it's part of being part of these dynamic ecosystems that we see in science, in technology, in innovation, in uh, job creation in Armenia. It, it makes us very proud to be part of uh, various initiatives. These may be uh, international conferences, uh, such as WCIT, with leading members of the IT, engineering, data science, AI communities converging here in Armenia. It could be meetups that students initiate or hackathons that they actively take part in. Uh, it's all about maintaining a high level of energy, combining it with standards of excellence, and just being engaged uh, in an impactful manner to raise our local, our national, and I think even global presence uh, around the world. I, I think that uh, uh, the other thing that is of interest to a lot of people is that the expansion of the College of Science of Engineering will include uh, private sector companies, technology companies to be um, located within the, the building and, uh, and also uh, help out uh, some internships and other things, including companies like Pixar and others. They are very interested in being part of that expansion program. So it's exciting. We have a lot of exciting things to do. The good thing about it is that the diaspora and a lot of donors, people like the Terpan Young family, the Louis Simon's daughter, Chris Simon, uh, the Avedisians, they have been so wonderful to help out expanding all throughout. It's not only the College of Science and Engineering. We need to do all throughout all the universities and AGBU, as well as every member of the diaspora, AGBU and non-AGBU is involved. So it's exciting. It is a treasure, it's a trophy in Armenia, and it can only get better. I gave a speech once about two, two and a half years ago, the commencement speech. A lot of people, young students who graduate, they wonder what they're going to do. They, some of them have programs, some of them have objectives, they have a plan as to what they want to do. The key is to go and get your degree and obviously continue your education as much as possible. Don't think about the future. The future is yours once you have the tools, the tools that the university is providing you. And with these tools, you can conquer the world. Just don't worry about it. Just get your education and the doors will open up and be successful. Eventually, you'll get there. Thank you.